New Mexico's candidates for governor are out tonight making their final pleas for votes. They're making the rounds on opposite ends of the state while their staff works the phone. News 13's Chris McKee caught up with both sides today. He's live near 14th and Central. Chris? Yeah, Jessica, Governor Susana Martinez is spent today up in or down in southern New Mexico while her challenger Gary King was up north. Now both are hoping to make a last minute impact on the polls for places like here at Washington Middle School open tomorrow. Tomorrow's election day. Yeah, for both sides in the race to be New Mexico's next governor. And I am calling for Gary King's campaign. Join me in supporting Governor Martinez. Whether they're making signs. 300, we did. Or making phone calls. Hello, my name is Brandon. It's now the fight to the finish for incumbent Governor Susana Martinez's campaign and her challenger, Gary King. Volunteers on both sides spent today trying to make their point. For one, encouraging them to vote. And number two, encouraging them to uh, vote for Gary. Democrats, Republicans, and Independents like what Governor Martinez is doing. The governor spent election eve campaigning in southern New Mexico, in Mesilla, Sunland Park, and at a restaurant in Hatch. We're feeling very confident. Republican State Rep Monica Youngblood is a Martinez supporter. She says volunteers are getting a lot of feedback they hope to hear. And they feel like she is actually putting the state ahead of politics and moving the state in the right direction. Challenger Gary King campaigned in northern New Mexico, stopping at senior centers in Santa Fe and meeting with city leaders in Española for lunch. Clearly we're the underdog and we have been and we knew that going in that we were going to be. But King's campaign says they're not throwing in the towel and they're hoping to prove the polls wrong. Through internal pollings and those kinds of things and the people that talk to us on a daily basis and I think that's what keeps us pumped up. Now, Martinez has had some big election campaign support this time around with former or New Jersey Governor uh, Chris Christie coming in and also former presidential candidate Mitt Romney coming in to campaign for her. Meanwhile, today, Cam Gary King actually picked up an endorsement from former President Bill Clinton. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. To find out where each candidate stands on the issues and to read up on all of tomorrow's big races, head to krqe.com. Just click on Campaign 2014. And here's a look at the latest numbers on absentee and early voting turnout in Bernalillo County. Officials say more than 29,000 absentee ballots were mailed out to voters. More than 20,000 were returned. Officials say these numbers do not reflect the 2,000 ballots received today. Those are still being processed and scanned into the system. Now let's take a look.